All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to today's video. And today we'll be blinging out our bamboo. <laughs> Just kidding. We'll be gold plating it with the new bamboo uh, gold PEI plate. And if you've been with the channel for a little while, you know that we've done several of these uh, build plate videos in the ever ending search for that perfect build plate. And you may be asking yourself, what is that perfect build plate? And in my mind, that perfect build plate is something that will hold the print while it's warm and being printed. And then when it's cool, it will release it and let it go. So on the cool plate, if you don't put any glue or any of that stuff on the plate and you just print on there, good luck getting that thing to ever come off. It actually like fuses with the plate or whatever and it's really hard to get stuff off so that's why you put glue down is so that it will release off whenever it's done um, but that can get messy it's cumbersome um, the prints will leave little patterns and stuff from the old prints on the bottom of your prints so we don't like that so we've used the PEI plate in the past and some from AliExpress and different places like that and <clears throat> Those did work better. They did release stuff with um, out having to use glue or anything like that. And that was really great. But the issue that we ran into is whenever we started to print smaller pieces, those seemed to move off because they didn't stick on there very well. Uh, so the goal and the, you know, the, that ideal plate is while it's hot, it really holds that print down. And when it's cool, it lets that print go. So if you've been wondering if the new gold PEI plate from Bamboo lives up to the task, then today's video is perfect for you. So we will see if this stands out amongst the crowd. I made a little test in Tinkercad that we can uh, mess with to um, see if it will actually hold the prints down and if it will release them when it's cold. So if all that sounds good, then sit back and relax and I'll get everything ready. All right, so here we are on Bamboo's website and here we are with the gold textured plate here. Uh, you know, honestly, pretty good price for the textured plate. Let's compare that to the normal plate. And if we look at the dual sided uh, texture plate, it's only $35. It is on sale now because it's pretty much obsolete. Please don't buy this one. Um, I'll foreshadow a little bit. Don't buy this one. Um, but let's take a look at what the gold one promises. All right, so the first thing it promises is excellent first layer adhesion. And this is what I was talking about is, uh, you know, the smaller pieces tend to move around because they don't adhere uh, on the first layer to the uh, build plate, which causes an issue. Improved durability and compatibility with various filaments. We'll check, check out all the filaments that we can do. This is compatible with the X1 and the P1 series. I think it's interesting in this video that they do the flow calibration. That's the old style flow calibration as well. And that's not recommended <clears throat> on the PEI plate. So here we can see if the glue stick is required and what the <clears throat> uh, heat bed temperature needs to be for all of these different filaments. And as you can see, some of the PC and carbon fiber do need glue stick on there as well as TPU. And then some of these do need the upper uh, glass uh, plate removed so they don't get too hot and warp. Okay, so excellent first layer adhesion, improved durability, and self-released when cooled down. So this is what I was talking about in the intro is, you know, where it's strong enough to stick whenever it's printing, but whenever it cools down, it releases. And in Tinkercad, I, was a, I actually made a little test that looks very similar to this so that we could see if this is true. Um, I, this did, this little thing looks like our Nimitz bench, Benchy a little bit, um, but this inspired me to make something in Tinkercad so that we could test this out. Um, so compatibility with different filaments, and as we saw up here, lots of different filaments that we can print on here. And we'll ch check this self-released when cooled down. And then here's how the 
plate is built so it is dual sided there's this pei powder on both sides there and it does um, a lot of people have commented that they really like the texture of the pei plate and i do as well sometimes i do like it to be uh, smooth um, but you know this texture is pretty cool and it shows how to install and release it and and all that so let's take a look at all right so here we are in tinkercad and here is what i made in there um these are just 10 millimeter by 10 millimeter by 100 millimeter before i sliced them down here uh you know square tubes or whatever you want to call them and then what I did is I just, you know, used this little thing to tilt this one over to 45 degrees and this one half of that, which is 22.2 degrees. And then I set them back down. And what I thought we would test is this looks like a very similar angle um, to what was shown on the website right there, 45 degrees. And we'll see if it can actually print that. And then this is 22.5 degrees and um, we'll see if we can actually print that. And if what it says is true, when it's hot, it should be able to hold down at least this 45. And when it cools down, it should fall down to the build plate. So we'll go ahead and um, load this into uh, Bamboo Studio and we'll print it out and we'll actually print out three different sizes of this. So we'll step this down some sizes. Um, testing out how much holding power it has on that bottom pad right there. So that'd be the real difference in the, in the sizes. So let me go ahead and save this and I will post this to my, uh, printables page so that you can download this and do this test for yourself. Um, but I'll meet you in the studio. All right. So here we are in bamboo studio. And as you can see, I have, uh, the little test that I made in Tinkercad and then I stepped it down to 50% in the scale. So you'll see 50% right here. And then we did 25%. And this one is obviously 100. Um, so this is the test that will run on everything right here. And since we are on the PEI texture plate, we won't do the flow calibration, but we have already calibrated this in studio with this bamboo PLA basic in red. So let's go ahead and slice it and it'll take about 35 minutes to print and let's go ahead and get it printed and we do want the time lapse on there so let's send it to the printer and i'll see you when it gets done <laughs> All right, so let's try it with the normal PEI plate. All right, so as you can see on the normal PEI plate, it was these little tiny ones again that it that didn't stick to the plate that drug over and then it started messing up the whole print there. Um, so we've seen that several times um, with our PEI plate with the really small stuff, and, but we did see the gold one did handle business on that. So now let's try it with the cool plate just to see what happens with that. So let me go ahead and slice this and I'll get it printed for you.
But wait, surely if a build plate is gold and it says it's PEI, it must be the same as the bamboo uh, gold PEI plate. So let's send that same test through the cheap AliExpress gold build plate and the expensive gold build plate that we got um, from an American uh, supplier. All right, so as you can see, I think the Bamboo Lab Gold PEI plate lived up to the challenge. As you saw in the time lapse, it printed everything, even the small little things, really, really good. And it held on to everything, and as it cooled down, everything started to fall. That was really, really cool. I did that multiple times, and it did. Not at the exact same times, but it did roughly the same thing multiple times. So that was pretty cool um, as well. So um, we also looked at the gold other PEI plates that I got from AliExpress and other places, and they just didn't stand up the same um, as the Bamboo Lab gold PEI plate. So did it live up to the challenge? So far, so good. I've had it almost a week, and it has lived up to the challenge of holding on to things while it is hot and um, letting go whenever they are cool. And even when it's warm, it is um, easy to get stuff to come off of it. Um, it's just when it's cool, as you saw, it just fell over and um, came off on its own. So would I recommend getting this build plate for your bamboo? Heck yes, I would. Get out there and order that thing right now. Um, it definitely does work a lot better than the normal PEI plate, and it does work better than the AliExpress ones, as we saw. And as we saw with the cool plate, it handled everything just fine, but we don't really have a problem with that on there. That was more of just a comparison there. So... I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you enjoyed my costume today. Um, and I hope you, um, I hope this helps you as you're looking at getting build plates for your X1C or your P1S or P1P. So thank you for all of you that hit the like button. Thanks to all my subscribers. Thank you everybody for supporting me on Patreon as well as with clicking the um, links in the description below. So I hope you have a good rest of your weekend and rest of your week. I'll see you next weekend. Uh, thank you, everybody. Mm -hmm.